Hi, this is my size classes demo. Uh, so if we go to the uh, any with any height storyboard, we see we have no buttons. Um, and for compact heights, we have an orange button. And then for regular, uh, sorry, for compact widths, we have an orange button. And for regular widths, we have a yellow button. Um, for compact width and compact height, this orange button is constrained to the top left. For uh, compact width with regular height, it's constrained to the bottom right. Um, for the yellow uh, square, for regular width and regular height, it's at uh, the bottom. And then for regular width with compact height, it's at the top. Um, and we will see that this is correct in our preview. Um, with the iPhone 3 inch being uh, WC, WC, uh, compact width with compact height. Um, and then it, if we run a uh, iPhone 6, um, we expect to have a compact width with a regular height. And then if we rotate it, it will be uh, compact width and compact height, uh, which is correct. Um, but if we run a, an iPhone 6 Plus, um, <coughs> we would expect when we rotate it to instead give us regular. Um, this is just how oops, this is just how size classes work. Um, and th there you go. Um, iPads, um, since this is a universal app, it won't, um, have the black box or the black bars around it, uh, when we load it. Um, and it's regular, uh, width and regular height as well for both the landscape and the portrait. Um, that's, that's pretty much it.